The fun continues at the 34th annual uh, Produce Water Society Conference at the Western Memorial City, Houston, Texas. Tally Book Troubleshooting brought to you by American Safety Services. Call us today for all your environmental safety, site safety, permit to work, hot work, confined space, you name it. We got products, we got all kinds of stuff. I'm your host, Keith Stelter, trying to bring a little positive PR to the oil and gas industry, one conference at a time, one interview at a time, one maybe LinkedIn live event here and there, posts. You've probably seen me in your, in your LinkedIn feed. I'm sorry if it gets too big, too overwhelming sometimes. I promise I'm not trying to annoy you. They keep asking me to do these things, so I keep showing up. I, how could I say no? Uh, we've been here, I think the conference started yesterday, I believe. Yesterday goes morning. tomorrow as well as Friday. Uh, if you're in Houston, come on down. Some great speakers, some great presenters, which we got standing beside me. Sir, go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell everybody who you are and what you do. Hi, I'm Bill Blanchard, uh, the owner of uh, E3 Solutions, and we make a, a wastewater evaporation equipment. We, use a, we approach it a different way than traditional technologies in that we use uh, high-speed electric motors to spin apart water, use centrifugal force, and turn water into fog. So we increase- More its, surface area. That's right, we increase its surface area, and uh, you probably can't see the whole room, but a gallon of water in a pond's about six inches by six inches, and we turn that into something the size of this room, about the size of a basketball court. And- uh, Why would we want to do that? Well, um, you get free energy from the sun, and free energy from just uh, uh, the air. Cost and, and savings, cost efficiency, saving. all a, kinds of good stuff. It's helping the industry get rid of its produced water. That's right. It's a, the most cost effective way to uh, get rid of uh, dirty water. And we return clean water to the, uh, to the natural hydrological cycle. And if people view uh, carbon dioxide as a global issue, well, so is water vapor. Because that's the hydrological cycle is what regulates temperature. And uh, I can't give you water right back to reuse on your site, except by concentrating it, if you want concentrated brine. But uh, we can uh, help uh, grow clouds and help uh, create rainfall to recharge aquifers, streams, rivers, and lakes. I like the sound of that. Now, we're here at the Produce Water Conference. Is this your first conference? Um, no, it's not. Um, I think it's my first I'm sorry, it's first one of this conference. This one? Uh, um, for this one. Have and you come to the Midland one? Um, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Excellent. What did you, you know, you come down here, you see the other folks, uh, you know, with their displays and some of the keynote speakers. What were you hoping to get out of the conference? Well, um, I've learned a lot here. I, I, I see an industry that's um, ready to change. Uh, seismicity has caused some issues. And also, but also the awareness that there are things in that water that you might want. And lithium's on, on the front edge of that, and that's what everyone's talking about. But there's so many other important elements and chemicals in the brine water that can be beneficially reused uh, if you just get rid of the water and process them. So I think uh, we're, our technology, which we've spent a decade developing in the field, we've worked landfills and chicken farms and hog farms. Uh, RO reject is a particularly strong area for us, as, wow. are, as is mining and um, um, very difficult water to deal with. We evaporate water with a pH of two and full of metals uh, for mining customers and uh, RO reject water that's high TSS, high TDS, lots of salts, and we've been running for years doing that. Excellent. So this is definitely the place you wanna be. If yes. you wanna discuss that, get more information on it or perhaps use your services, correct? Yes, it is. And there, there have been some really excellent presentations here. I've learned a, a heck of a lot. And uh, a lot of smart guys in this industry. I'm not an oil and gas guy, I'm a water guy. And, uh, but we can help you solve your problems. I, I think the oil and gas for, you know, all the bad PR it kind of gets, uh, you know, CO2 is only 0.04%, you know, 400 parts per million in the atmosphere. I think the good we can do with the produced water for what, you know, we're, in the irrigation areas and a lot of other things, I think it's a bright future for water in the oil and gas industry. Well, oil and gas is the backbone of, of the world economy. It, it's what's lifted us out of poverty and, and allowed for our modern lifestyles. It's a, it's a great, I, it, I, I'm a big fan of the industry. And uh, um, you beneficially reusing the water, which can, in, in my mind, includes returning it 
to the environment through water vapor um, is, is a wise thing to do. And I, we're here to help you guys. And uh, we, we feel we've been doing this for years in very difficult environments. And I think for your industry, uh, we're, a good, we're a good tool in the toolbox for you. Yep. Appreciate it. Very Thank nice you to very meet you. Thank you very much, Keith. Nice to meet you. The conference, if you're in Houston, come on down the Western in Memorial City. Uh, still lots of time, still lots of information, lots of speakers to come check out. It is a great place to be if you're in the Purdue Water. Even if you're not, come come learn, uh, you know, a lot of things we used to talk about in the past for, you know, the environmental uh, advances in the oil and gas industry are reality today. Till next time, that's how you troubleshoot.